What is going on Collectors Optical 20 back for another video preview. Today we're going to take a look at the released, finally, WandaVision Scarlet Witch. And you can still pre-order this at BigBadToyStore.com. I'll put the link down below. Uh, this seems to be the last one that uh, we've been waiting for a long time. And honestly, it looks great. Uh, I like it. I like it a lot. I don't currently don't have any Wanda or Scarlet Witch in my collection. The last one I had was from Age of Ultron, and I sold that. I missed out. For me, the best one is, uh, I think that's the an exclusive edition from some, some movie. I, I think it's towards the end of Age of Ultron as well. Uh, because the only reason I said that is because it, it looks like her outfit from Endgame. And that is what I wanted. But it's not present. So for me, this will do. Although you do, do see that seam on her shoulders. And I know to some people that might be, you know, they might be cringing at the moment they see this. It's not that bothersome for me because of the fact that you could actually cover it up with this. So once you include this and you put it in a certain position, it is not noticeable. I love this look because it gives me Magneto vibes from the X-Men movie from Fox. I think that is from Days of Future Past where Magneto, Fastbender Magneto, has almost the similar look. So I, and I love Fastbender Magneto, man. I, I love that thing. Um, I have the third party of that and hopefully Hot Toys or Disney tackles X-Men soon. So we have this team up. But with that being said, look at this. You, you don't see the seam in this pose right here. Um, the head sculpt looks great. I think they fixed the tiara. This was a little low before. Could you actually remove that? I don't think you could. I know she's equipped with luminous eyes, but who's going to shine a black light in her face while doing this? I don't know. Would have been nicer if it was LED. The hair was not as problematic as I thought it would be because of it is sculpted hair. Uh, it is on her shoulders, so naturally you would have that concern as far as range of movement. But it looks like it's soft enough that, and pliable enough that you could kind of turn her head and that wouldn't be an issue. I like the flexibility of the figure compared to the um, Multiverse of Madness. Because in here, you have the option for her to have a cape. Uh, in the other one, you have not. I don't think there's an option at all. Yeah, there is none. Um, and I like her with a cape. Even though the multiverse of Madness, I don't know, she has that stern look to her where she seems pissed off. And I like that. Like the, the way they painted the eyes, I don't know. It feels like it's the same head sculpt. But the way they painted it, the way they positioned the eyes, I kind of like that better. And I like the hair of that better. She looks meaner. Well, she is. She was on a Multiverse of Madness. Unless I'm getting the deluxe version for that. Because the deluxe version looks great. I mean, it does have that power behind her with... I love the candles around her as well. I mean, I could buy that separately. But I'm, I'm guessing that would cost me a lot of money. So at that point, I might as well get the deluxe version then. But nonetheless, I, as a figure, just as a whole, I kind of am leaning to this more, honestly. Uh, I like the fact that you can see her arms. You can choose not to. Um, you have the option to have her with a cape or not with a cape. So I just like the flexibility. Plus, it is the cheaper out of the two. This is 275 the deluxe version comes in at 320. So the deluxe set, you know, the the book, I mean the book, this one has a book as well. You know, the power orb and and the the uh, what do you call it? Like the candles comes at a price of around $50. Uh but I'm leaning more towards this. I do have the one division vision and that tanked real fast. That you can have it now for $200. And I am guessing she would suffer the same fate. So as much as I I need a Wanda in my collection because I don't have one, I don't think I'm going to get the endgame look. I don't think they're going back to that. So this would do for me uh, as long as I do have the character. 
but I'm not going to get it now. So th- I might have to wait a year for this, for this to reach that moment. I'm not, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm not excited or I'm not in a hurry to get a, a Scarlet Witch slash Wanda. If I get this, like I was thinking that way with Vision. I think I reviewed Vision once, put him on the shelf and never touched him again. I could have waited between that time and here and be totally fine without having I that's what I did. I think the review didn't even do pretty well. Uh so same goes with her. If that means I get her next year for how much is she right now? 275. If I can get her at around $200 uh next year, that would be ideal for me. I'm not and even at that point, I will have the option and to see I de- I don't know when when is Man, God, my goodness. The uh, Scarlet Witch Deluxe version is not slated to ship between July and December of this year. So I was hoping I would get, I would see all of them pick between the three options and then move on from there. Uh, But I guess not. (laughs) I mean, I still could suppose apparently, but we'll see how it goes. But I have a feeling this would suffer the same fate as, as Vision, as... All the Disney Plus shows, basically. I mean, you can see Falcon right now, you know, tanking as well from Hong Kong retailers. So uh, I wouldn't be surprised if we see the same fate with Wanda. But this looks great. I mean, I know she has LED hands as well. So I'm, I'm all for that. I'm all about, you know, gimmicks and all that stuff. But so far, I'm leaning to... Let's put it this way. Whoever tanks the first, because I don't think there's much of a difference between all of them. All of them has a unique thing that they bring to the table. I like kind of like the skirt of the Multiverse of Madness version. It's tattered and and she looks meaner there. But I like the options here, you know, where you can remove. Plus, I, I kind of like the show better, the WandaVision show better than Multiverse of Madness. If that makes any sense. But yeah, let me know in the comments. Are you going to pick this up? Are you going to wait it out like myself? Um, do you have any Wanda in your collection? And if you do, do you feel like you need, do you feel the need to get another one? Either this or the Multiverse of Madness? Or are you just waiting for that altogether? I would love to hear your thoughts. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. I want to thank my subscribers and my members as well for the continued support. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.